Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to transfer all your WhatsApp data from an iPhone 6s to the new iPhone 14 Pro. There are a lot of ways to do it, but today I want to use this. This is an adapter that I'm going to put a link on the description that is going to allow me to connect the iPhone 6s with the iPhone 14 Pro. So this transfer is going to happen with a wire. It's going to be a wire transfer. In order for this to work, you need to have an iPhone with an iCloud account. In this case, I have this account and you need to have a new iPhone factory reset it just like this, all right? You're going to need a lighting cable to USB-A and you're going to put it here, guys. This end is going to go to the source, the iPhone with the data. In this case, it's the iPhone 6S. This other end is going to go to the new iPhone. In this case, the iPhone 14 Pro. When you do this, make sure you have 100% battery. But in case you need more power, there's an extra adapter here where you can connect a lighting cable, which is going to power both devices. But in my case, I don't need it. But if you need it, you have it right here. Every time you have an iPhone with an iCloud account, next to an iPhone that is brand new, this is gonna happen, look. Set up new iPhone. So Apple knows that there is a new iPhone next to an old iPhone. So it assumed that you want to transfer from the old one to the new one. That's why you have this pop-up, all right? Use your Apple ID to set up your new iPhone. So I'm gonna click continue. And look at this, guys. We need to scan this with the camera app. So we put it here on top. And now it says finish on the new iPhone. So it's setting up the new iPhone, the iPhone 14 Pro. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. And now it's going to ask me to set up some stuff on the new iPhone. I'm just going to skip this stuff, set up later. Passcode, passcode options, don't use passcode. Don't use passcode. And look at this, guys. I want you to see this. You see, transfer from iPhone. And then you can see here uh, a little icon of the data going from one iPhone to the other one using a wire, you know, transfer from iPhone. Transfer directly so this iPhone will be ready with your data when you finish setting up. Time to transfer five to ten minutes. You have the option of doing it from the iCloud, but today I'm going to do it with a wire because that's not common, you know. So I'm going to select this and it's going to set up your Apple ID. And I need to put my password here. You put your password. Now terms and conditions, agree. And it says make this your new iPhone. Apps and data and settings. So I'm going to click customize. Continue. Disable location services. And it says Siri. We're going to set, set up later in settings. Screen time, set up later in settings. Analytics, don't share. Emergency. Let's say continue and look at this guys It's transferring data from the old iPhone to the new iPhone 14 Pro. I have a little data, so this is going to be fast. In your case, it might take longer and it says transfer complete. And here the iPhone is going to reset. But look at this guys. This is what you want to see transfer complete. And now the new iPhone 14 Pro is going to restart with all your information on the iPhone 6s. So this is going to take a little bit and look at these guys. They even kept my wallpaper set up cellular. Not now, but here you can see that all the apps on my old iPhone are going to be installed on the new iPhone. Now Apple is asking me to erase this iPhone. The reason is doing this is because I have iCloud connected to both iPhones. So anything I do on this iPhone is going to reflect on this new iPhone, like taking a picture, you know, but also deleting stuff. If you delete a picture on this old iPhone, it's going to be deleted here. So you need to be careful. The reason I wanted to do this transfer is because I want to move my WhatsApp data from one iPhone to the other one, right? So what happened if I click WhatsApp here? It says your phone number is not longer registered with this WhatsApp on this iPhone. This might be because you registered on another phone. Look at this. So I have my WhatsApp here. And here, when I try to open WhatsApp, 
is saying that I have it here. So that's why I need to log out from here and then log in here. And how you do that? You need to confirm the number again. But before doing this, I just want to show you, for example, on this uh, chat that I have a lot of stuff, including uh, emojis, stickers, files, a lot of stuff, all right? So all the stuff needs to be transferred. Now remember, I still have my SIM card on this iPhone, all right? So any confirmation code, I'm gonna get it on the old iPhone. Now I'm gonna click verify. And this is the number, guys. Look at this, it says log out of the WhatsApp. Click Alex, done. And that's it, guys. WhatsApp didn't even send me a verification code. I just have to select the number and that's it. And this is because I'm using the same iCloud account, all right? If I open this, I'm gonna have everything that I had on this previous iPhone, okay? Pictures and everything. If I try to open WhatsApp again, now it's saying that this is not longer registered on this phone. Now, if I click verify and I verify the number, I'm gonna have access, but I don't wanna do that. I want to keep it here, right? All right, so my phone is this, I don't need this phone anymore. And now I'm gonna start using the new iPhone 14. And that's it guys, that's how you transfer guys, everything from an old iPhone to a new iPhone using a wire, all right? Especially WhatsApp. So now that I have my WhatsApp on the iPhone 14 Pro, the next video is gonna be how to transfer WhatsApp data from an iPhone to an Android device. I have here a OnePlus device. This is the N200 with Android 12. So I'm gonna be able to transfer all my WhatsApp data from the iPhone to the Android. But that's for my next video, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's the best way you can help me. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.